I've often uh, shared on the Slack channel that uh, O'Reilly is a fantastic resource and that uh, a good way to get it is through membership at the ACM. Uh, and I thought I'd actually give a little video demo to show what it looks like. So, so this is O'Reilly uh, when you go into it and uh, you don't necessarily have an account. Uh, it's telling you all the things that you have access to. Uh, and I'll just scroll through stuff. You can do this on your own. But the one thing I wanted to point out is for individuals, you can get a 10 day free trial. So you can try it out first or you can um, become a member with plans at $49 a month. That's uh, US. That's a lot of money, uh, especially for something you may or may not use on a regular basis. Uh, if you're really fortunate, your, your employer has provided uh, this for you. Um, but if not, there's a way you can get it at a much lower price, at least most of the features of O'Reilly. And that is by joining the ACM. So what's the ACM? It's the Association for Computing Machinery. This has been a society that's been around since the beginning of computers uh, as an industry in the 1950s. They sponsor the Turing Award, uh, which is kind of uh, known, uh, known of as the Nobel Prize of Computer Science. And uh, I've been a member since I was a student in high school, not high school, excuse me, in college. And uh, even without membership, you can plunk around and look at the various things. But if you do have membership, one of the things is the learning center. So it's kind of hidden how to get out to O'Reilly. But once you're in, uh, I'll show you how to do it. So you go to the learning center, click here. And notice there's uh, up here is O'Reilly, Skillsoft, and Science Direct. So I'm going to go to O'Reilly first. It asks for a login confirmation. This is just my login account with the ACM. I do the sign in, yada, yada, I'm in. Now, this is not the full-blown O'Reilly account that you get for the $49 a month. They used to supply that, but uh, as of, I think, a year or two ago, it got too expensive for the ACM to continue doing that. So, so uh, it's a slightly uh, smaller version, but it does include all of the books, all of the videos, uh, the or some of the uh, O'Reilly answers. Uh, let me see experts playlists. Uh, so playlists are uh, I don't know if that still exists uh, for your own stuff. Uh, it may not. Let me see. Oh wait a minute. Yes, it does. So uh, these are various things you can go to. So so let me let me start off right off the bat. So let's say you wanted to know something like, what is dynamic programming? So this is an example. Click on it. And this goes through all of their materials and pulls out resources of dynamic programming. If you click on um, uh, this link, it'll take you to that resource where it was. Yeah, the print's really big. Uh, and uh, let me see, it can, yeah, sometimes it's even better. I'm at 80% and, and you can see it a little better. And it takes you right to where the dynamic programming was. Or you can say, ah, this isn't uh, quite what I wanted. You hit this button and now you're going through different books where it's highlighted things about dynamic programming. So it's a really fast way to look through their resources. So let's go back to home. Uh, but let's say I'm really interested in a specific book, uh, Clean Code by uh, Bob, Uncle Bob Martin. So uh, hang tight. We've got several things. We've got the actual book, which, oh, sorry here, I'm running into overlap issues with... Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. And um, so, excuse me for a sec. There we go. Now it's a little easier. So this is Bob Martin's book, uh, Clean Code. Uh, you can read the reviews. You see a book description. It shows you the table of contents. Uh, you can start reading. And then it takes you through page by page. 
again, the print it's really big for some reason. Uh, and if you really want like something that's written here, uh, you can say, hey, I really like uh, what uh, Kent Beck said. So, uh, or whatever this is. So I can take that and I can either highlight it. There you can see it's highlighted or I can add a note, which I can say, I really like this. Uh, so now I have a note I can come back to in the future. Uh, I'm going to delete the note and undo the highlight. So you can go into books uh, very easily. And I'm sorry, I'm fighting Zoom's, uh, what Zoom puts on my screen versus what I can see. So you can go to find books easily. There's also a clean code video series that uh, Bob did. And you can go uh, right into the introduction. I don't know if this is going to work too well, but as you can see, it's popping up. Um, sometimes the volume doesn't always do the right. So there's Bob doing his videos. And uh, we'll, we'll skip that because uh, Bob gets, Bob likes to dress up in different characters. So anyhow, so, uh, so what kind of things can we find here? So let's look for algorithms. There are close to 26,000 search results for algorithms. First one is 40 algorithms every programmer should know. Uh, let's do data structures. And likewise, there's close to 39,000 data structures uh, resources. Uh, you can also do, uh, let's see, I, of course, like design patterns. And if we look at that, we have uh, all kinds of different things on design patterns. Now you notice we have book, which is uh, a book that just came out or re-released. And we also have uh, a playlist. So people can put together their favorite resources and share them. So this is someone who says, hey, you wanna learn about design pattern essentials. Uh, this person has picked some things for such as a chapter from this book, a chapter from this book, uh, a video from, from that source, uh, et cetera, to, to give you a sense of um, uh, what they consider uh, to learn things about essential design patterns. And what is that? That is part of the playlist history. So every person has access to uh, playlist. Uh, I've got one for Uncle Bob and this list, I kept mine private, but it lists all the books and, and videos that I've uh, grabbed from Uncle Bob. Uh, and some of this were uh, book club. This was books that uh, I read at work uh, with a book club. Uh, and I was using this account before I got a book club account. Anyhow, so that's just some of the features, lots of books, lots of videos. Uh, let me go back to home again and scroll down. Uh, so here you can ask questions, expert playlists. So these are playlists that other people have put together and you can browse through these. So basically let somebody else do the work for you. Uh, things that are recommended based upon what you've searched. So you see design patterns, algorithms, things I've just kind of did right now. Uh, learning paths. These are uh, video courses on uh, different things, including AWS and Spring Boot, et cetera. Uh, case studies. I haven't gone into these in detail, uh, so I can't really say uh, what all's in there. Uh, recently added material, popular videos, things that are trending, you know, basically analytics, stuff like that. So, so that's all in O'Reilly. Uh, and uh, remember, this is $49 per month for uh, US. Uh, but if we, oops, I want to actually head back over to the ACM and show you uh, membership. And part of the membership is the benefits. And in benefits, it includes uh, thousands of online books, courses, short uh, materials from soft, uh, soft skill. I'll show that. 
Science Direct and O'Reilly. This is included. Oh, they've turned O'Reilly off for student members. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, but um, so if you get professional, uh, a regular uh, subscription, you still get O'Reilly. And that includes uh, books, videos, uh, and the uh, O'Reilly conferences. So what a, how much does all this cost? So let's look at membership. And there's other things you get with membership. And let me see, oh, membership options. So professional member is $99 US per year. That includes everything in O'Reilly. So basically for the price of two months of O'Reilly, uh, you get membership for a full year uh, of ACM and includes all of the O'Reilly features that I showed. There's a couple things in O'Reilly that you do not get through the ACM. One is uh, they have live online training sessions, uh, which unfortunately we cannot get through the ACM membership. And they also have some sandboxes and other things you can kind of play with online. Those are not available. But if you're looking just for uh, things like uh, books and videos, it's a great deal. Uh, there may be some discounted rates if you're in a, a developing country. If you are uh, a retired member, you kind of have to have 10 years to qualify. So if you're brand new to the ACM, this won't apply to you. Student memberships are only $19 a year, but that does not include O'Reilly. I think they just recently changed that. Uh, maybe you can, no, it doesn't look like you can uh, get O'Reilly, but you can still get the professional membership, even if you're a student, they don't care about that. Uh, let's go back. Uh, and, and just applying online is you just kind of click on these things. It, it's, it's simple. Uh, you just need a credit card. Let's go back and look at more learning options. And there's Skillsoft. So again, they want me to confirm my login. I do not use this very often, uh, but it is another set of uh, books that are available. And uh, I don't know the distinction necessarily between uh, Skillsoft and O'Reilly. Let's, let's see if uh, patterns is here. And yes, we see there are some design pattern courses. Uh, I can't tell exactly how many. Uh, oh, it looks like quite a few. So. Um, so you can find stuff here as well. And the final one was lost access. So um, let me uh, actually just go back to ACM again. And again, go to the Learning Center. A couple clicks, it could be a little, little more efficient. And Science Direct. And it looks like they're going to ask me to, oh, no, don't have to do a sign, uh, sign in. This looks more science, all kinds of science. Uh, and in computer science, uh, looks like, uh, oh, we got textbooks. Oh, that's a new one. How about that? So um, computer networks, data mining. Uh, all kinds of things here too. So, so there's plenty of material, more than you can possibly consume in a lifetime. I know that O'Reilly alone is 40,000 uh, books and videos. Skillport is probably thousands more, and then this is thousands more as well. So uh, for $100 a year, you get access to all of this stuff, and it's just a really quick demo showing what's there and what's available.